یادی مدد پریس آل مائٹی لارڈ این آئی تھنک یو آل پرٹیکلر لیڈی سپیکر میں انٹروڈیوز می ٹو یو آئی ہیو بین ورکنگ سرونگ مولانا حضر ایمان آل مائی لائف این ایٹ ایز ناٹ اینی legitimate pride but I'm proud of my master and I'm satisfied, contented rather very much satisfied that I have been serving Mawla Bapa for the past 55 years I remember a little incident I was about four years old. My father took me to a Hindu kindergarten school. We were living in a Hindu area. I think you might know someone out of you, the Punjab's Ismailis were Guptis up to 1918. My family There was also a Hindu family, but mind you, we are Ismailis since the time of the Shams, about 900 years before, but we were Guptis. In 1918, Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, he ordered eight people to come from Punjab at midnight in his bungalow in Pune. There he told them, they were the leaders of the community, he told them that now time has come, that you, my spiritual children of Punjab and Frontier, turn upon the Muslims. Change your names from Hindu names to Muslim names and mix with the Sunnis in Punjab because the Punjab was predominantly populated by Sunnis and even uh, buried your deaths according to Sunni rites and for marriages called a Sunni Mullah and uh, Hazar Imam instructed these people and we out of 100,000 Ismailis I mean Gupti Ismailis in Punjab Only 40,000 obeyed Imam and the rest could not do it either because of the conviction or because of the fear or because of the relationship with other Hindus. So our uh, ancestral house was in Hindu area and there was no other way to take me to a Hindu school run by a Pandit. There were about 35 or 36 Hindu boys. Because of my father's influence among the community, I mean Hindu community, they allowed a Muslim to join this school otherwise not. Our Pandit He used to go for his little puja and some food at around about 11 o'clock and it took him all day, about half an hour daily. So after three, four days, then I thought there was sufficient time and everyone was playing and making mischief. I gathered all the boys, told them stand in the lines, close your eyes, hold your hands like this. And I started yali, 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 tasbi loudly. All joined me. That's what I saw in the Jamaat Khana. So I started there in the school. Those young kids, they felt it absolutely a new interesting thing. So they started speaking yali, yali at their homes. Complaints had come and I was turned out of the school. That was my first vision. Well, the mission was not fulfilled actually, but I started my mission. Praise is only for Mawla Baba. We are all his servants. 
वट एवर वी डू वेदर ए मिशनरी ए डाई और इवन ए पीस इट इज वी आर टोर्ड वी आर टॉट बाई अवर पीस इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ मौला एंड देयर फोर एवरी टाइम वेन वी प्रे वी से पीर जे प्रसाद अरज जयंती कबूल करिए बिकॉज ऑफ द पीर पीर जे प्रसाद सो वट एवर आई एम इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ माई मौलाज ब्लैसिंग एंड दुआ ऑफ यू जमाज दिस इवनिंग आई वॉज स्पीकिंग टू द जमात ऑफ मोदी I was not moody. The report was moody, and it took me nearly 45 minutes to come over here. Well, I apologize. I made you late, not the association. Anyhow, this is a particularly a students' gathering, although non-students are also here. I wish to talk to students, only students, and uh, I'm also pleased that tonight there are so many questions. Inshallah, according to my knowledge, according to my experience, I will speak what I know. I have never claimed, and I do not claim here, that I know most. Actually, I'm still a student. Many things I have learned recently. I have been reading all my life, and uh, the more I read, the more I find that I know little bit. Even now, I am reading at the average of six hours a day, and if I can find time more, I may read even eight or ten hours. Reading is the best. habit of a man after prayer reading will give you some insight every good person who can read and devote some time must read in bombay i used to take books with me standing in a queue to ride a bus i did not just so do see here or there I took my book out and started reading. It may be five minutes, it may be twenty minutes. Sitting in the bus or train, I was reading. I have the habit even now to read everywhere where I can, in my flights, or in buses, or in other ways. It's the best habit. I have read so many subjects, but my most Cherished subject is religion, philosophy, history, arts, music, and science. And I, myself, am a poet. I write, I compose, in Urdu, in Punjabi, and very little in Persian. Poetry is a bakshish of God. Poets. are not made they are born this poetry has given me much insight in ginans as i told you i have never claimed and i do not claim that i know much but to your knowledge to your information and to some extent to your satisfaction when i give replies of the questions first i started studying ginans i read all the books 73 ismaili literature 73 books consisting of nearly 9 to 9 and a half thousand pages The most difficult book I found was the Sadrdin's Gir Bagadi. Most difficult. Difficult not only in the language, but also difficult in its context. The other book is philosophically 
which may give you some insight some information some knowledge of the universe is, is nikalanki gita those people who do not understand physics or they haven't studied physics cannot understand nikalanki gita and if we talk about spiritual and uh, divine love in our religion in our faith i found the most interesting and very much appealing book was Butch Neringen and C.R.C. Butch Neringen was composed by P. Sadarjee although some of the scholars now they doubt about its credibility but I have no doubt you know scholars they study a Ginan from scholarly point of view I have studied Ginan's from my faith and my love of the faith there is a difference between two I never claim to be a scholar I am a preacher not a scholar and I read Ginan's understand Ginan's tell the Jamaat about Ginan's what I have found in Ginan's there have been not one two or few but many occasions in my life when i have uh, recited a ginan one ginan only nearly two hours only one ginan repeating repeatedly ginan are things which may open your mind if you allow it to open Ginans are full of noor Ginans are full of love of Mawla Scholars may not go to that point They are scholars They may find any critical thing in the Ginans And Ginans are not a subject to be criticized Ginans is a poetry of love अब तेरी मोहब्बत लगी मेरे साहेब अब तेरी मोहब्बत a scholar will not go into the deep depths of this part only a lover of god he may be illiterate he may be a peasant but when he hears it it may go deep into his mind lover waiting for his beloved is a sweet heart who has gone away for some time and he is awaiting his arrival and when he comes when the beloved comes that beloved smiles at him is some face and teases teases the lover the word tease is not caring what i am feeling you know so we might say chhedta hai but still chhedta hai is also not appropriate so then from lovers point of view the peer says chala chabila ए जो बन मत वाला चंचल चाल 
जो बन मतवाला मैया तू मन विच लावो मेरे साहेब अब तेरी मोहब्बत लगी एज आई टोल यू गिनान सर पोइट्री बट विद म्यूजिक म्यूजिक नॉट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स म्यूजिक ऑफ द हार्ट वेन यू सिंग गिनान इन द वे that for hundreds of years we have been singing i repeat in the way that for hundreds of years we have been singing because the notation because the raga were taught by peers themselves to the persons who were living during the time of our holy peers and it has come down from father to son then you may find some sort of sensation in vibration in your mind about love of maula baba chal chabila e suno al bela these are the words cannot be translated into language The sweetheart is beautiful, young, very active, agile. Rather, I would say, restive. Restive means restless. This is this is a chal chabila. He would talk, go away, come back, tease and go away, come back. the lover finds his love burning chal shabila suno al bela al bela means carefree mohabbat dil vich lavo mere sahib ab teri mohabbat so if you read this ginan not in the manner that we recite ginan in our jamat khanas in jamat khanas we recite only for the killing of time to pass time and to because we have made the habit of reciting ginan so just to undergo that kind of a ritual a practice a habit we did ginans in jamat khana as we like so many ginans are sung in a manner that we are singing in ghazal or in uh, rasulas or in garbas or in mahfils of uh, uh, ordinary music and music parties ginans as i told you ginans come from the inside of the speaker or reciter जी गिनान बोलो रे नित नूर भरियान सी द ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड्स एंड ऑल्सो द ट्यून हे गिनान बोलो तुम्हारे हरा खना माए जी रिसाइट गिनान स्पीस दे आर फुल ऑफ नूर द लाइट ऑफ मौला एंड सिंग इन ए मैनर दैट यूर हार्ट मे नॉट Completely absorb the joy and happiness 
that you may get after reciting again on it. Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah Salvatullah Alayhi he used to tell Kamariya Haji. Haji Kamariya was the servant since the time of Imam Hassan Ali Shah. Even Haji Kamariya's father, well, Haji Kamariya's actual name was Nazar Ali Haji. So Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah was very young when he came to the throne of Imam he was around about eight years old and Kamariya Haji at that time was nearly 70 years. Kamariya Haji died in 1916 at the age of 92 or 93. Kamariya Haji was a great lover of Ginans. So Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah practically every day, not once, many times, during the day he would say, Haji Kamariya, recite a kina. And the Imam would sit and listen his kina. Then the Imam would go play outside with other boys and uh, his friends, come back again, Haji Kamariya, let me hear a kina. You know another thing? Malana has the Imam's own study room in Eglemo as a tape recorder. Whenever Hazrat Imam enters his personal study, where he is all alone himself, where he reads, writes, he opens a tape recorder, which is singing a ginan. He has many ginan tapes. Slowly, slowly, ginan is being recited in Mola Bapa, his writing, reading, whatever he wants to do. He himself is peer. He is our 50th peer. Ginans are composed by our peers or the children of peers. Latest collection of our Ginans are 10 Ginans of Sayyidah Imam Begum. Imam Begum actually composed more than 30 Ginans, but unfortunately, we only know about ten Ginans. Sayyidah Imam Begum, he was a descendant of Pir Hasan Kabir Din. And Sayyidah Imam Begum, he was reciting Ginans even in the Huzur of Imam Hasan Ali Shah She died in 1866. She was living in Bombay and I have seen that place the house and the rooms where she was living, if there is anyone from Bombay, he knows in Nal Bazar there is a Dupehliya building. At the top floor of Dupehliya building, Sayyidah Imam Begum was living. Her ginans are full of Ruhaniyat. Alana Hazrat Imam, when he came to the throne of Imamat, he spoke about Ginans and he said, this is a wonderful tradition. Preserve it, not only for your, yourself, your children, but the children yet to be born. I'm explaining to the Jamaats all over the world. Since I came to understand Ginans, I started reading Ginans not only reading but studying Ginans, it took me 14 years to complete all the Shastra. We have 73 books as I told you. These 73 books include six parts, six volumes of our 600 Ginans. And the rest of 67 books are other books. Out of that, as I told you, the most difficult book is Pisadardin's Girbhavali. Then there is also, you might be surprised to know that Pir Sadardin wrote a kind of a notice or say a kind of paper, newspaper. He named it Surat Samachar. 
सूरत समाचार भाई तीस हजार दिन सिक्स हंड्रेड इयर्स से गो देर आर मैनी अदर थिंग्स डेट अवर पीस रोड इन गिन मंस एज आई टोल्ड यू देर इज रूहानियत इन गिन देर आर सो मैनी थिंग्स डेट एवरी पर्सन शुड नो the complete way of living as a good ismaili as a good momin is have given us in ginan once i was speaking about ginan in nairobi and after that a boy stood up he said missionary sir is there anything in ginan about the matrimonial side of moments about the married life how a person should live with his spouse is there any instruction i said yes is a gina and many times we read ginas we recite this gina in our jamaat khana but because we do not pay attention to the words of the gina most of the reciters they give more pressure and attention to the raga than the word hey ji purush nari nu ek je dhara ma rakho khami to na lage जी पुरुष नारी नो कजे धर्म रखो खमिया तो नालाजे करम जी त्रण त्रण वेदना जे आवो मुनिवर भाई This is the first part I have recited, so that you may come to know which ginan is that. Purush nari nu ekaj dharam. Dharam means duty. The duty of a male and his spouse is equal. Ekaj dharam. Both have equal duties. This doesn't show that uh, nari is fifty-one percent. as these westerner people say no there is no 51 there are 50 50 rakho khamiya keep tolerance so na lage karam you will not be punished the matrimonial life now which is being disturbed in the jamaat and jamaat is also being disturbed by the fighting of wife and husband if they understand this thing that both have equal duty towards each other both must exercise tolerance if there is tolerance there is no fight so you know ginans have so many aspects of our human life Ginans are full of history. Ginans are full of ruhaniyat. Ginans are full of love of Maula. Ginans are full of our background. Not only that much. There is science in it. There is science in it. I've been telling the Jamaat in my wives two three days ago. that galileo and newton they did not live in the time of our peers but our peers have mentioned about atom bomb cell reactors vacuum cleaners aeroplanes trains motors this evening i told the jamaat of fort moody that peer said 
a day will come when people will eat sacrin sacrin those people who are suffering from diabetes those who are suffering from diabetes they are taking sacrin peer and message did 900 years before it is peer shamas who lived 900 years ago and he said a time will come when sacrin will be produced i told this evening ji garo mantri ne dait gor bana vse ji garo mantri ne dait gor bana vse ji tiya gor na paraba chala vse ji what is garo tar you know when we get crude oil from the earth it is refined in different stages after petrol and other articles inflammable articles then they derive out of it engine oil after engine oil they collect and take out of the residue differential oil gearbox oil then they take out greases of various levels and what is left after greases is tar this is garo dait means science which is against belief against love dait the force of science is dait it is against the love of god everything science wants logically love has no logic faith has no logic either you believe it or you leave it there is no science there is no logic in love so therefore science does not know love of god therefore it is known as dait the force of science without love of god is dait dait means enemy of god and it is so peer said garo mantri ne mantri means derivation through chemical action or through science through machinery dait god announced say in those days there was no refined sugar everyone was eating god god means jaggery so he said he will produce dait will produce sweet thing like sugar from this garo this star and param chalao se means it will be in any quantity you want not a little bit he ji pano mantri ne dait this is pano a paper pano mantri ne dait topat padhav se ji tene dait nu jap kalinga nu jap japav se ji gramophone records are like sheet and they are speaking like a puppet there are so many things i don't want to take much time only on this subject but i have given you a little sample of what our gnans contain those people who are amongst you studying in the university or in high schools you may be knowing that our earth is moving 
around the sun completes this circle in 365 and quarter days every year. Now we do not count quarter year, quarter day every year. We add one day in a leap year, making February the month of 29 days. Now this rotation around the sun, it is so long that it takes the earth to run 200,000 miles in three hours at the speed of 200,000 miles in three hours and it takes 365 days to complete. Now this circle, in olden days when peers composed these ginans, there wasn't any science of this nature that now we know. People were also, most of them, illiterate. So he said, this circle that sun is actually running on the path, it is a circle. Peer has given the name as a serpent. Peer has given to make this circle he says that there is a serpent, a snake. He has his tail in his mouth. So it makes a circle. So Peer says this circle on the, the path of earth from the sun is being reduced every day by 22 and a half inches. I give you the part. Heji washing a naga. Nag means a serpent. Washing a naga bi asha. Zameen asman da karaji. Washing nag. To make people understand. See the quality of explanation. Such a scientific item is explained in a simple manner. Vashinga Naga Biyasha Zameen Asman Dakaraji Esava Hat Puchal Khave Rakhlai Kaima Biyasha Kal De Now this serpent, which is actually the path of the earth around the sun, he says, this serpent is eating his own tail, Savahat. One hat is 36 inch, uh, sorry, 18 inch. One hat is from tip to the hair, elbow, it is 18 inch. This is known as Savahat. That means 22 and a half inches. Every day, this part of the earth is being reduced. Why it is reduced? Because earth is moving around the sun and slowly, very slowly, its speed is diminishing, reducing. So every day the earth's speed is reduced by 22 and a half inch. Now if you multiply 22 and a half inch by 365 and a quarter days, you get the measurement of a year. It will take many thousands of years to the earth that its path will reduce, it, it means the earth is coming nearer to the sun every year. And one day when she will come too much near the sun to stand the gravitational pull of the uh, sun, 
it will be pulled by the sun and it will destroy. Now peers have also given us the time of its destruction, how many years it will take to be destroyed. And when this will start, that sun will pull it and what will happen on earth, it is all in our ginas. Do we want to destroy this wonderful tradition? Only under the pressure of Sunni Muslims? Do we want to destroy this khazano, this treasure, for which Hazar Imam has said, preserve it, not only for you and your children, but for the children yet to be born? I give you another thing, the importance of our ginas. Atlantic Gita contains the measurement of the celestial bodies in the light year. Mind you, those people who have studied science, they only know about light years. These have given us this measurement, light year is a measurement to measure the distance between the heavenly bodies hundreds of years ago. And in Ginaz we find Tej Varsh, exact translation of light year. Or I should say, the light year is the exact translation of Tej year. Light travels at the speed of 186,300 miles per second. 186,300 miles per second the light travels and these have given us a measurement because it may be in billions of miles away. He says so much stage here will take to reach such and such place. These have given us an isharo that man will travel outside and outside from other galaxies people will come to visit this earth these have also given us when this earth will be absolutely 100% controlled and ruled by Imam of that time he has also given the name of that Imam who will rule the earth. He has also given the exact date and even the day. Our peers were fantastic. Now mind you, he is had Ruhani Takat in them. Peers had Ruhani Takat. When I say peers, I mean the peer of Putyo who have the Noor of Nabuat in them as Maulana Hazar Imam is also our peer. Now when we say peer, many people recently they have come up like mushrooms telling that Nasr Khusro and P. Sadar Deen are equal. Some people they think that Hamiduddin Kirmani and P. Hassan Kabir Deen are equal. Hassan Deen Sabha and other peers are equal. Peers have noor. Kermani, Abdul Malik Atash, Abu Yaqub Sijistani, Nasr Khusro, Hassan bin Sabha, they were guys and missionaries, not peers. They can never be equal to our peers. Hassan bin Sabha was a missionary, converted to Ismailism by a missionary named Hassan. Similarly, Nasr Khusro was also a missionary. How can he be equal to our peers like Pir Sadardin? Our peers are from the families of Maulana Hazar Imam. From Maulana Hazar Imam's own family. Hassan bin Sabah and Kermani and Nasser Khosro, they were not from the family of Hazar Imam. Maulana Hazar Imam, he is our 50th peer. Maulana Sultan Muhammad Shah was our 49th peer. And there was a peer six months old. 
the Sayyid Abul Hasan Shah. He was grandson of Maulana Ali Shah, son of Dil Shahabuddin Shah. Dil Shahabuddin Shah died. Maulana Imam Ali Shah gave the Piratan, Piri Jomo. Piratan means Noor of Pir. He gave this Pir of Piratan to Sayyid Abul Hasan Shah, who was not even one month old. 